Hello there. You're riding in the car with the Cairo. So today's topic is growing pains. Why do kids get them? Is it a legit label? Is it real? And what can be done about it? Well, growing pains is a terminology that people use and medical professionals, specifically pediatricians, use when they can't explain why a child has pain in their joints and they have no clinical explanation of it because they don't understand how the human body works, in my opinion, right? Because the reality is if growing pains was a legit thing, wouldn't every child have growing pains because they're growing? Your spine doesn't stop growing until you're 25. So wouldn't you have growing pains off and on throughout your life, every single human being, if it was a legit thing? And why do only some people or some kids have quote unquote growing pains? Well, I'm here to dispel the myth that growing pains exist. What happens is children have traumas that cause pain. What do I mean by that? Traumas can happen at birth. Being born is not only difficult to mom if she's doing a vaginal delivery or a C-section delivery, but it's difficult for the baby. It's traumatic. Going through a birthing canal that's really small and contracting as you're trying to move through to come to our come to the universe and come out is very challenging on the entire body of that infant. Obviously very challenging to mom pushing out a basketball, right? If a child is born C-section, for whatever reason, mom is traumatic because mom has been sliced, right? I'm not saying that it's not necessary at times because it is, but then the infant is pulled out typically under the shoulder. So right under here, they're pulled out and popped out of that incision. So when you do that, there's an incredible amount of stress that happens in that infant's spine. Their head is flopping because they have no spinal control, no muscle control, no ligamentous control at that stage because they're an infant. That's why babies have floppy head and we have to watch their head, right? So there's a stress and trauma that happens at the spine as a result of the birth process. We won't even get into if they use a vacuum extractor vaginally, which is horrific, 100 and 20 pounds of pressure that they use to put a suction cup on a newborn's head to suction them out of the vaginal canal. Horrific, because what that does is pulls the spine, right? We know that's not good. We know, no, no, that's not good. Babies born that way have incredible amount of distress and trauma at the spinal cord in the upper cervical area uh, because of that. And um, forceps, so they clamp down and they contract and push, pull, 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 pull. So all that, not only is it on the skull and the skull is soft, so it causes deformities in the sutures of the cranium, but it puts an incredible amount of stress on the spinal cord, which is the intelligence line to your entire body. So growing pains is a terminology that's false. A child who has pain, no matter where it is, hip, knee, ankle, back, arm, whatever, is a sign of distress. And somebody needs to evaluate why is that body in distress. So as a chiropractor, I'm going to look at the overall body and I'm going to look to the spine because the spine is the lifeline to your body. And what we find with kids who have quote unquote growing pains, which is a false terminology, we find that trauma in and of itself. Think about how many times does an infant fall when they're learning to walk or a toddler, I should say. How many times? I've read some research that says a toddler can fall up to 1,600 times a day learning to walk. 1,600 times. Tell me if you fell as, as an adult 1,600 times or even 50 times a day. How would you feel? So is it possible all those falls and learning to walk and crawl and learning to ride a bike and et cetera, do not traumatize that spine and nervous system some way, somehow, and knock it off kilter. And when that happens, the spine is distressed. The spinal cord reflects that through inflammation. 
inflammation wherever that nerve goes. It could be the ankle joint, the hip joint, the knee joint, the elbow joint, the neck joint, the shoulder joint, whatever. And it's a reflection of the distress that's going on at the spinal level. And so when pediatricians, medical doctors, poo-poo the idea that they need to look deeper, it's only because they don't know how to look deeper. No offense to the other professionals. It's just not their forte. But when a child is brought into the pediatrician expressing that they have pain at joints and the pediatrician doesn't know why, it's time to send them for a chiropractic evaluation. Why? Because the spine and nervous system control every function in your body. When the spine is distressed and there's enough inflammation over time, the body reflects it in a pain pattern. And when the body gets to that point, the body's breaking down into sickness and disease, and only a chiropractor is trained to locate and correct those distortions in the spine. And guess what? Good news. It's completely correctable in a chiropractic office. So if your kid is expressing, quote unquote, growing pains, and the pediatrician has said, oh, he's got growing pains, he'll grow out of it. He may grow out of it to the point where the body just adapts to that. Does that mean it went away? No, it just means it went deeper and that larger issues are just waiting to come up. Like larger issues as in that nerve not only goes and reflects pain, but that nerve controls some kind of organ system. And over time, that organ system is going to break down. And then that child may have organ system issues, digestive issues, um, uh, colon issues, headaches, asthma, allergies. I can go on for hours. So we're talking about growing pains. It's a false diagnosis. It doesn't exist. It means that there's distress at the body somewhere reflecting from the spine and somebody needs to go about evaluating that. A chiropractor is the only one trained to identify that and most importantly, correct it so that those symptoms don't lead to sickness and long-term disease down the road. So if your kid has growing pains, it's time to bring them to the chiropractor. If you live locally, I'm the best place to go. This is Dr. Anita from Mylon Family Chiropractic Center right here in Bayville. You've been riding in the car with the Cairo, and we've been talking about growing pains. Get your kid checked today. They don't have to suffer with that, and you don't have to wonder about why, because we'll give you a solution and an answer. Thanks. For riding in the car with the Cairo, Dr. Anita, right here in Bayville, New Jersey, Mylon Family Chiropractic Center. I'll see you on the next ride.